was a newborn stolen from the arms of her mother in a hospital, taken by an assistant nurse on the run. This Southern Kentucky story captivated the entire country back in 2004. And now, 10 years later, Hannah Mordeaux brings us back to the family at the center of the crime. Those who know amazing Gracie Barrow say it's a miracle she's alive. Now, she and her parents are like any other family. The only difference, a strength that inspires everyone they meet. She's just an amazing, amazing person. And I can't wait to see what God has in store for her as she grows up. Tears of joy, a heartfelt hug, all a moment that once seemed impossible for this mother and daughter. My heart. But the darkest times proved an unbreakable bond. God, you make me feel like it's that love which put Samantha and Corey Barrow's little girl back in their arms so many years ago, after Gracie was stolen in her first hours of her life. Ten years ago, on April 2nd, Gracie was kidnapped from the hospital that she was born in. Did you ever imagine this? No, I would have. I never imagined it for one, one minute. Still, in a matter of minutes, Gracie was taken from Fort Logan Hospital in Stanford by assistant nurse Tanya Shelton. Anger, sadness, grief, I mean, it's really indescribable. I didn't understand what was happening. I didn't understand how it had happened. No one did, but the hospital immediately went on lockdown and an Amber Alert was issued. Police knew Shelton stole the baby. It had been planned. Did everyone think she was pregnant? Yeah. Everybody thought she was pregnant. The elaborate lie unraveled as Shelton was tracked down nearly 100 miles away. The newborn was later found in Bowling Green in an alley next to a dumpster in a pile of snow. I thank God every single day that that woman walked her dog, that that dog pulled her to find her because 15 more minutes and she wouldn't be here. Gracie was hypothermic, had a seizure, but she made it. I'd never been so happy in my life. And I knew right then that the rest of her life I was never going to let another thing happen to her. A vow that held true was Shelton was sentenced for this crime. If I plead guilty, I'll get 20 years in prison. Gracie is safe. Still, there are moments this family is haunted. The biggest fear I have is that she'll come back and try again. The nightmares aren't as vivid, but they're like, she's still there. It's a battle the Barrows face daily, on top of the loss of their second daughter who died from a rare heart defect at only nine days old in 2010. Undescribable pain, they say, for a reason. And I believe that's what her situation, this whole situation, and even the death of our daughter has done. It's made us stronger. A strength that continues to grow as Gracie does. Now to all of you who helped a decade ago, this family has one thing to say. Thank you so much for your prayers for asking God to be with her and to bring her back to us. Since Gracie's abductions, laws have changed in Kentucky hospitals to make sure this doesn't happen again. Back to you. Shelton is in the Western Kentucky Correctional Complex and is scheduled to be released in November of 2015.